the first thing we need is an Azure subscription and I've logged into the management console where I've got one service bus namespace already created. The namespace is just a grouping mechanism for related topics and queues. At the moment, I haven't got any topics or queues set up in my namespace. For applications to use the service bus, they need to be authenticated, and the simplest setup is with a shared access policy. I've got one policy set up for the publisher and one for the subscriber, and those policies need to be authorised to send and receive messages so they each have the relevant permissions. I can view the connection strings for the publisher and the consumer here, and the endpoints will go into my application config. I've got the latest version of the Azure SDK installed on my machine, and that's all the setup I need, so we can see how messaging looks across the console apps that I've already written. Firstly, here's a console which I can use to send messages to a topic. Ignore the parameters for now, they'll be used later in the course. When the console starts, it checks to see if the topic it's going to use exists, and if not, it creates it. So now the publisher is ready. If I flick back to the management console, I can see it's created a topic called Top 10, which doesn't currently have any subscriptions. Because there are no subscriptions, if I use the console to publish a message, it gets lost. The messages are sent to the topic, but as there are no subscribers, there's nowhere for the message to go, and we can see the current size of the topic, which is the sum of all messages in all subscriptions, is zero bytes, so we've got no messages there. I'll fire up another console app, which is a subscriber to my topic, and I'll give it a subscription name, which can be anything in line with the Azure naming conventions. When the subscriber's ready, I can see the topic now has one subscription, called S01, and it has no messages at the moment. If I start publishing messages now from my publisher console, they'll get forwarded by the topic to the subscription, and they get shown in my subscriber console. I can kill the subscriber and keep sending messages, and they'll be saved in the subscription. So S01 now has three messages queued, and we can think of a subscription as a private queue for one consumer of the topic. When I start the subscriber up again with the same subscription, it receives all the queued messages. And if I add additional subscribers with different subscription names, all consoles get a copy of the published message. And if one of the subscribers is offline, its notifications get queued, while the others get them instantly. So I see S01 now has six queued messages. There's nothing to stop me having multiple listeners on the same subscription, so I can start two subscriber consoles listening on S02, but they don't both get messages, as they're sharing one subscription. When you send a message to a topic, Azure forwards it to all subscriptions, but not to all listeners on each subscription. So if you have multiple subscribers, you need to make sure each one uses a unique subscription.